All right, uh, good time to get in some technical perspective. Ashwini Gujral as well as Rahul Shah join us. Ashwini, coming to you first. Bank Nifty just a tad bit below that 19,000 mark. Is there any trade there? And the Nifty has seen a bit of attraction owing to the strong opening in the European markets. Any trade there? See, uh, midday we had collapse, but uh, I think that collapse uh, is getting bought into. So going into the close, I think uh, you can get long on the bank nifty with the stop say around 19,000. Similarly, uh, 85, uh, 30 has been held on by the nifty. I think with that sort of a stop, even the nifty can be bought. So basically, you know, it's kind of choppy range bound market, very uh, slow and very small moves are coming. As far as uh, individual stocks are concerned, uh, Hindalco is a sell with a stop of uh, 140, target of 127. Uh, Vinati Organics uh, buy with a stop of 520, target of 552. And uh, autos seem a little weak, so Maruti Suzuki is a sell with a stop of 4500, target of uh, 4380. Okay, Ashwini, we're going to leave it on that note. Thank you very much for joining in and uh, giving us all of those strategies. Well, we do have the Lakshmi Vilas Bank numbers on your screen. So 60.7 crores is where uh, the profit figure has come in this time compares to around 40.3 crores. We're waiting by for the gross NPLs. Remember that they've managed their gross NPLs uh, right. sub uh, one sub two percent, so it's spiked up two point one four percent versus one point nine seven percent on a sequential basis. There is a marginal worsening which has come in. It would have been taken very positively if the gross NPLs were maintained sub two percent, but really overall it's just a marginal worsening which has come in in terms of Lakshmi Vilas's uh, gross NPL percentage. Uh, to loans at this point in time. Remember that it's been a all rank outperformer as compared to the other stocks in the banking space. It was at a fresh 52 week high on its uh, today itself. So giving you an indication in terms of the kind of interest which we're seeing, there's been a spike up in the stock which has come in as well um, at this point. So maybe the street is a bit uh, enthused with the numbers. The gross NP has come in at around 432 crores versus around 391 crores. So around 40 crores plus on a sequential basis in terms of absolute amount or absolute addition for the gross NPL. So 60.7 compares to around 40.3 at this point in terms of their total um, total profit, uh, total gross NPAs. So overall, yes, decent performance which is coming for them uh, for, uh, for uh, Lakshmi Vilas Bank at this point in time. So any more details? Any more details? We do have the net profit, uh, not net NPA numbers. At the same time, the gross NPA, even if you look at it from an absolute basis, an increment of just about 40 odd crores. It's gone up from 391 crores to about 431 crores. You know, if you look at the provisions, uh, nothing big as far as provisions are concerned. In fact, provisions mm -hmm. year on year have come down from 58 odd crores to 35 crores and quarter on quarter have risen by just about 7 odd, 8 odd crores from 27 crores to 35 crores. So looking like a decent set of numbers, uh, nothing uh, much in, in terms of worsening as far as uh, the gross NPA as well as the net NPA is concerned. It's just in fact, uh, the stock mm -hmm. has moved into the green as we speak. So if you look at it, it's been managing to maintain its uh, gross NPLs and net NPLs uh, in terms of stability for a long period of time and if you look at the uh, the estimates that we had even in terms of profit we had antique which was estimating around 50.7 on crores and we had a uh, centrum which was estimating around 50 point 52 crores for this quarter. So if you look at it, it's actually come in much better than what they were anticipating on the bottom line. Net NPA, which is up around 12 odd percent this quarter on an absolute basis, was up 61 percent in the previous quarter, giving you an indication in terms of the fact that the absolute percentage rise has decreased on a year on, on a Q on Q basis. And the NII also up around 24 percent, 22 percent this time. It was up 24 percent in the previous quarter. So they managing to hold their NII growth above 20 percent at this point. So good numbers coming in for Lakshmi Vilas Bank. You can't really complain at this point in time. Yes, a bit of a chink in the armor when it comes to uh, the gross NPA. But if you look at it, last quarter gross NPA absolute figure was up 18 percent. This time up around 11 odd percent. Gross NPLs, yes, have worsened. But really, um, compared to the other banks, it's uh, relatively quite unscathed at this point. So that's the update coming in on Lakshmi Vilas Bank. We have another technical guest. Indeed, we do. And Rahul Shah, thanks a lot for uh, waiting by while we took you through the numbers of Lakshmi Vilas Bank. What's your view on the markets? Technically, what does Lakshmi Vilas Bank look like to you right now? It's moving around here, uh, digesting the numbers. It did hit a fresh 52-week high early this day. 
I have not looked at uh, Lakshmi Roulette very closely, so difficult to talk on that perspective. So the other stocks that you've lined up for us then? Uh, other stocks, I think uh, uh, Voltas is one stock which we've been, uh, which I've been recommending for uh, uh, today. I think uh, the stock has done quite well in last few sessions, and now it's uh, above the breakout level of 332. Uh, uh, and so, and the longs also have added in future segments. I feel entire uh, entire space in that uh, consumer space, I think, looks good for, for good for a trading perspective. So, I would buy Volta with a stop loss of 328 and target of 348. Second stock is uh, a Federal Bank. I think in a small mid cap banks i think this bank has all underperformed the other banks and i feel the longs have created in this and technically also the stock has spent some time at 58 at 62 levels and i feel now it's ready to take off to 65 levels so i would buy federal with a stop loss of 59 target of 65 third pick is india cement i think it's entire cement stocks all the cement stocks have done quite well large cap as well as mid cap so i think uh, india cement is also al almost near to the expected to be high and has been holding on so uh, stock is also up today so i feel uh, this stocks uh, should go to 120 so one should buy with a stop loss of 110 okay fair enough rahul we're going to leave it on that note thanks very much for joining in and giving us all of your strategies well we'll take a break with the news that yes the nifty is holding 85 50.